Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter, and today I have a weapon slash set slash skill that I want to show off to you guys because I love it. I finally got the purple orb from Magnamalo, which took way too long, was able to make its light bow gun, and I am in love. If you like spread three, stickies, all that good stuff, you're going to adore this weapon. Here is the basic stats we're looking at, 198 attack, a level 2 and level 1 slot, which is fantastic. He does have mild deviation to the left. High recoil, so we're going to have to deal with that uh, and skill that out. And we have fast reload. Uh, it does have the Wyvern Blast special shot and the ammo. And this is the most important thing. Uh, quick note, I did put attack boost 3, which is its ramp up skill. Uh, its ammo is pretty much all the big boys. We can fire normal 3 with a clip size of 7. We can do pierce 3. Spread 3. Shrapnel, I don't care so much about, but we can do that as well. Sticky 3. Um, going over here, and we have slicing ammo as well. The cool thing is we can walk as we fire all of these, excluding the cluster bombs. So basically what we're going to be using this for is its spread, uh, which has a clip size of 5 that we can walk around with. And we'll also have the option of using that awesome slicing ammo, which is super powerful, and sticky 3s. And of course, we can always go back to Pierce and Normal if we like. So the clip is really nice. I'll show you why that's so good. Um, when we go on here, we definitely don't want to put a silencer on here. If we put a silencer on, it puts the recoil down to average, which is nice if you are too lazy to make decorations or don't want a set that has uh, minus recoil. But we're definitely going to want the Long Barrel. Long Barrel will extend uh, its critical range, which is important for spread. And we're going to be using this thing with Aim Booster 3 to make sure that we can fire this thing at pretty much any distance we want as long as we're in range. So go ahead and attach the long barrel and I'm going to go ahead and show you my set as well as talk about Aim Booster for a little bit. So let me go ahead and put on my set. So my set here, obviously you might have a little less on the attack boost if you don't have as good enough as a charm, which is fine because uh, I do have an attack boost level 3 with a single slot. Uh, which is why I'm able to get up to 5, but even 4 would be great. Uh, so even like an attack uh, plus 2 and a slot, or just even just, you know, a, a thing with nice slots that you can put in the attack boost would be fine. Uh, spare shot level 3, aim booster level 3, spread up 3, recoil 3, reload speed, we only need it to 2 to get the fastest. Uh, we do get pierce up 1 on this thing, as well as evade extender, stun existence, flinch free, and wirebrug whisperer. This thing is a loaded set. A quick show you my decorations. I got precise quick load, steadfast, precise brace, jumping, two attacks, two absorbers, and the third absorber there. Uh, so that is pretty much how I slot it all in. This does give me low recoil and the fastest reload. Here is what the set looks like. It's basically Ragna Kadaki, uh, which is why it looks so good. Uh, it is a little revealing because it does have the shelled sandals. So what I like to do is I use it with the Sinister Steel legs just to fill that out, and I definitely always play with my Fox Mask, which is a DLC item that you can purchase. So let's go over to the training area and let me show you off why this thing is so awesome. And the reason why this gun is so good is one, it's got slicing ammo. Slicing ammo is so good. And we're just gonna be able to pop here. If you notice, I got not so lucky with this spare shot. It doesn't activate all the time, but when it does, oh man, is it nice. <laughs> You can cut off tails very easy with this. Um, all you need is pretty much one KO on Magnum Allo or two, and you can knock his tail off. It's that easy. Uh, so very nice. Uh, we can use Pierce 3, which is nice as well. We're going to want to be pretty far back in order to get our best amount of critical distance, um, but we can fire that while moving, which is great. It's got a huge clip size as well. Um, the main thing we're going to be using this for is spread, but I'll show you like shrapnel we can use as well. I'm not a huge fan of this weapon uh, ammo type, uh, but we can use it. And of course, sticky three, we do get one. And this is where the spare shot will really come in handy. Um, when it does proc, oh man, uh, because spare shot is so powerful, you only need like two of these to get the initial KO. So yeah, that's very nice. Uh, we got some other ones. Demon ammo is actually very cool as well with three. Uh, we can buff off all of our teammates. Uh, we do get some other choices, um, but our main one that we're going to be using this thing with is spread type level 3. So this thing does a lot of damage, as you can see here. Uh, the great thing is that we're using aim booster, which means that we can go all the way back <laughs> and we're still hitting for maximum. Now, obviously, if you're this far back, you might be hitting teammates uh, or you might not just be hitting the spot because you're just too far back. Um, but the fact that you can shoot this far back and get the maximum damage uh, on the part if you hit it is amazing. 
Um, pretty much the aim booster will give us critical all the way until we are out of range, um, which is just ridiculous. We can mix this with the fanning maneuver, which is great for maneuvering around, and that will increase our damage even more. Uh, so very cool. So I'm hitting the neck here a few times, which is why the damage is a little low. Uh, of course, you're going to want to be in a little bit closer when you're using this thing, but uh, you can move back for safety, which is great. And you can see this spared shot does proc every now and then, which allows us to just go absolutely crazy with this weapon. Very fun indeed. So let me show you the difference of how this works with the aim booster. So if we didn't have the long barrel on, well, our critical distance would actually end even shorter. Um, I'm not even going to show it because, of course, we're going to use this thing with a long barrel. Uh, so let me go in here and take off some of these things. So I'll take off the precise. So now we have aim booster level two. And if you notice now from when we're out of range, there's now going to be a little point in which we are in yellow. Uh, and that is going to do absolutely horrible damage. And we move forward. And now we're finally hitting at optimal. So that might not seem like a big difference, but it is. In the middle of a fight, having that little yellow thing here can really get at you. If we, and that is with aim booster level 2. So let's go ahead and change this to aim booster level 3. So we'll go to our decorations. We'll take out our other precise one. I love this game and the fact that we can craft decos. It gives me a good reason to go around hunting a bunch of monsters. And now if you notice, uh, here we're in good range. And now we're not. So, yeah, it's quite severe. Here. So around here. Uh, all the way back to here. So it's much larger. And if we put on no aim booster, I'll show you what that looks like. One of the reasons why this is a little confusing is that they're using a legacy text here. It says that it shortens the distance before ammo and arrows reach maximum power, but they actually change uh, kind of the way that it works in Japanese. It says what it says on the right here, which is it extends the range. So it extends the range of critical distance, which means this is why it affects it from going further back, not just going forward. Uh, so hopefully they're all able to uh, tweak maybe that translation in a future patch would be nice. So I do find it a little bit misleading. And here we go. This is with long range. And uh, right here, we're already outside of critical distance. So we're going to be doing very low damage. And that is a very, very realistic area where you might actually be shooting. Um, so let's go around and shoot a little bit. Yes, yeah, so this is bad. And you pretty much have to play this thing traditionally. You got to get up really close on the monster and hit them to get that big damage. Uh, but boost level three, let's go back to our set. Boost level three, yeah, we are totally good. As long as we've got a targeting reticle on, we can hit for maximum damage. So pretty much all you got to do is worry about the out of range, which is just absolutely fantastic. Really going to help you keep up the offense. Again, Fanny Maneuver is an interesting choice for this one because it allows you to get a power up boost, uh, which does make quite a difference if you're just hitting that much. And yeah, it's a very fun gun. Anyways, I hope you guys try out this weapon. Hopefully you can get the purple orb. Um, it is very, very fun to use this weapon. And maybe this set gives you some ideas. And Aim Booster, definitely fun as well if you find yourself not always able to stand right next to the monster. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and weapon slash set showcase, and until next time, happy gunning.